So today I get to do something that's uh, really fun as a real estate investor. Um, you know, sometimes you get to do really fun things. And today is one of those days. Um, I've got a homeless man that's been staying in one of my uh, rehab project sheds. They've got a back shed, shed in the back of the house. He's been sleeping in there. I've met him. Uh, the neighbors have called the cops a few times. They've come out. The cops say he's clean, don't have any warrants. Seems like a genuine good guy. He has materials sitting on his duffel bag that say what to do. It's reading materials, uh, what to do after you've been raped. Okay. Homeless shelters are full, I guess, is what I'm picking up here. I don't know what to do with this guy, and the neighbors are just really irate. Um, I didn't ask for this situation. It's one of those things that just kind of happens in your life, I guess, if you're in this business. So I am uh, I'm going over to the place now. The cops, the, the neighbors have tried to have him forcibly removed a few times um, by the police, and the police won't do it um, without me giving the nod. And I won't give the nod because I don't feel like being poor is, is, is a criminal act. Um, I mean, I understand I have to protect my investment. I also understand my investors. I also understand my, my neighbors. Um, but the issue here for me is, you know, I didn't know what to do when he showed up. And I still don't know what to do. But here's what I'm going to do to make the neighbors happy, to, you know, protect my investment, protect the neighbor, you know, protect my investors. I've got, I went by the ATM and I got a little bit of money and I'm going to go up there and I'm going to tell him, you know, human to human, uh, that you can't stay here. And that's just the way it is. And I don't know where you're going to go, but beat your feet on the street. And here's a little bit of cash. Hopefully that will get you somewhere to go tonight uh maybe maybe a couple two or three nights maybe something to eat and maybe a place to stay tonight and some i don't know what you know what do you what do you spend money on when you're homeless like that i've been pretty homeless before but not like that okay so anyway I'm gonna take. I'm gonna go up there. I'm not gonna video him. Um, just out of respect, I don't want to make this a spectacle any more than I already am. But I thought it was an interesting story. It's just one of them things you kind of stumble on in life, and uh, you know. Anyway, his name is Mr. Anthony Burns, and according to the police, he's an okay guy, genuine man clean no no uh, warrants nothing and uh, he just needs a place to stay and unfortunately it, it hurts my feelings a little bit but he can't stay here so uh, I made it work for him for a few nights <laughs> and that was about it so anyway here we go here we go here we go I'm so, you know, sorry for the the camera not being on me or him when I walk up there. But that's what's up. But I'm going to try to keep it where we can hear the audio. he's here he's, uh, he's a bit in and out I find busy but not sure what he's busy doing it's not really I guess any of my business okay I don't know why I'm nervous it's nutty to be nervous I'm gonna stop here at the edge I need to get them weeds, don't I? <laughs> okay. 
All right, I'm gonna let's just see what happens. Hey, Mr. Burns. Hey, Mr. Burns. Anthony. Yes, sir. Hey, it's Justin. Yes, sir. How are you, sir? I'm all right. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Hey, man, I'm getting a lot of complaints. Well, you know what? I just talked to him. Yes, sir. The only complaint he's complaining about is he want me to go up the stairs. Not his stairs. I see. That's the only well, that's the only thing he's complaining about. I understand. Mr. Burns, I don't have a problem with you at all whatsoever. But I don't have the, the neighbor next door to this guy's is upset too. He's calling the police like every day. And you know what? And and, and, and you're and not I, a, and I don't know why. And I don't know why either, sir. I don't know why. Uh you're not a criminal. No, I'm not. Uh to me, um, you've done no wrong. I have no I, I don't and know I why. have and I have asked them to to be understanding of that, but but they're not. I don't know what's going okay. On. So I, don't know I I've got I've got to ask you to, to move on. Okay. But I don't want you to do it empty-handed. I'm gonna give you a little something. Uh, it's not a lot, but it's something to maybe help you get get somewhere to go tonight at least, or till you get your get your mind right on another spot. I Is that okay? Yes, sir. All right. And I want you to know that. Uh, I'm sorry that that that's how people people are sometimes. Wow. You know, they're they're trying to protect you know what they feel is theirs, and they're scared of people they don't know. Exactly. They're you know. And I got to and, go with, I got to go in two color. Well, maybe yeah. maybe that too, uh, but al also also nowadays I feel like it's kind of like almost um, almost a crime to be poor. You know what I mean, yeah. and not have a lot of things. I understand. And I, I don't like, I don't believe that. Um, but that's kind of the world we live in. Uh, I don't know. Would you agree or disagree, man? I agree. You agree with that? I agree. Well, if I give you a little bit of cash, will you, will you go your way, um, peaceably? Yes, then. Can I be out of here before dark? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll be out here before dark. Yes, sir. Not, you don't don't feel like you need to grab everything you have right now and just haul off right thank while, while I'm standing you, here. You. I promise you, I'll be out before okay. dark. Okay, but I'll, I'll give you some of this cash here, and then if you'll be out by dark, um, that'll make these guys happy, and they'll quit calling the cops on me, and the cops calling me all the time. You see I'll what I'm promise, saying? I promise you, I'll be out uh, before dark. And I haven't, I, I've been telling the cops not to give you a hard time, but they keep giving me a hard time. I understand. I understand. So I, understand. I need to do something that's I, good, you know. I understand. Okay, Mr. Burns, I, I appreciate it. Well. So you got till dark, man, and everything yeah. will be fine, okay? Thank you, but here, here's, I'm here's, here's, I'm gonna sit here and contemplate where I'm gonna go. Yes, sir. And well, maybe that'll help you figure it out a little bit. Thank you, God yes, bless sir. you. Yeah, thank you, thank sir. You, that's uh, that's not enough to get you, you know, retired I, on, but I that, that'll get you up maybe, maybe. Maybe something tonight. Just, yes, sir. Is, is it all right if I drop by and just see if you have any work or anything sometime? Uh, yes, sir. That's fine as, as long as you're not, you know, sleeping here, man. I, I won't sleep yeah. here no more, Justin. Okay. You only, you, you only that, give me, okay. Give me this one chance. I understand, man. I will yeah. do you like that, Justin. That's okay, I man. You I won't. That's okay, Mr. Burns. I'm I, grown, I, I trust I'm you. I'm a grown man. Yes, sir. I know how to think for myself. Yes, sir. I understand. I understand very well. I understand. I won't come here. And do you like that, Jess? I understand, sir. Um, and I appreciate it. Like I said, you know, you've done me no wrong. Um, it's just, you know, I'm just getting heat from these other people. And, and I understand. You know, you, so. And you, and you got a business you got to take. Yes, sir. I've got to protect my, That's my right. investors. That's right. That's and they're, right. they're right. kind of. That's right. They kind of own me a little bit, and I don't like that. I understand. You know what I mean? I uh, so well. I've got to do what I got to do. You know? I understand and, very well. I'll be out of here before dark. But I, but I wanted to at least do what was fair by you. And I appreciate okay. you All right. very, very yes, much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No Thank problem. You. Well, you, you, uh, God bless you, and good luck to you, man. Thank you. All right, sir. Thank hey, is there anything that that maybe I can I can do while 
I don't know if you have access to a phone or anything, or is there anything I can do maybe to get you connected with somebody, resources or something that might help you in town? Um, or, you know, like, is there a shelter or some place that maybe you want to go that you just need somebody to, you know, help call or something? Um, no, I'll be all right. You okay? All yes, right. Sir. All right, Mr. Burns. I'll be all right. Thank you, sir. Thank God, you. God bless. Thank God you. Bless you too. have something to say. I wouldn't I wouldn't treat an old dog like that. This is because of money. Some people got it. Some people don't. God bless America.